Hello and welcome back. Uh, so last example we have discussed about the data binding and uh, this example we'll see events binding. Okay. So first of all I have actually um, remove the existing content like I remove the components folder and uh, I remove that configuration from navbar and I remove it from app module. So I just made it back to original setup and I have <coughs> started the server. So I got this. Okay. So now the concept will be let's change this. It is uh, events binding. Okay. So events binding, we will start with a very basic example and slowly we will uh, go to the different other examples. Okay. So let's start with let's start with uh, events binding. So first example goes to be uh, some counter. Okay, I want to make some counter example. Just increment the counter and decrement the counter. <coughs> so I create, <coughs> I create a component on directory. In that I create open in terminal. So what I do is here uh, ng g c counter. Okay, so it creates a <coughs> counter component. Enter. Okay, so it's created HTML spec TS and CSS and also made some updation for app module. Now let's connect here app counter. Okay, so we got the counter works. Okay, so let me design this. Let me design this. So I go to HTML. I just make some a simple setup one section with the class margin top three one container one row single column or else uh, you just say call md4 uh, in that card card uh, card header and uh, the card body okay so let's have in the card header, let's say BG success and text white and some boost up configuration. So I'll add some heading. So P dot H4, let's say counter. Okay. So our concept is counter. So counter and uh, below this in the card body, I will take a number. So let's say some P dot H2, let's say counter number. Okay, let's say count number. Okay, so below that I have two buttons. One is a, a success button, a small button. This is for increment. Increment is one button, and I need one more. That is a decrement is a button. So let's say BTN minus, let's say danger and uh, you can change this color i guess pg secondary okay fine so i have a count increment and decrement so what my plan is when i click on this button i want to increment this number so i just need to have some number i want to increment it so first of all uh, what is dynamic here here it should be a number when i keep clicking on this button it should be incremented so that data should be dynamic so how <coughs> uh, data binding concept works is i'll tell you let me uh, get this for example i say so you just need to do the flow and uh, you can make anything by yourself so edit copy so i'll paste this yeah so first of all you need to have something dynamic here so what you have to do is <coughs> In your TypeScript file, assume this is your TypeScript file. Okay. So in TypeScript file, you have to create a variable called um, you have to create a variable called count. Okay, not uppercase. So count with a zero. So you just declare a variable called count and that count to be bind here. Okay, so zero will be binded here and if you change this to some number called one, so this will display as one. Okay, it's been binded. 
that is first step second step I want to increment this number so this been binded from here so when I click on this button you need to update this value so automatically it's been binded here so it will update so story is you have to get the data from uh, type script and display here for every button click you do I want to update in the state so automatically that updates here so let's see this practically first of all I want to bind something in the place of count I just need some zero so what I do is in my typescript let's say public count of type number is equal to zero <coughs> so count number zero and this count I want to bind dynamically here so and that too binding you can use um, events bind I mean you can use uh, a property binding you can use uh, interpolation so I, I want the text between the tags so double curly brace count okay so you get zero so the data which you have declared it's been bind here for example you change this to manually 50 what happen automatically it updates 50 because this particular variable has been bind over here that's first step and the second step when I click on the button I want to increment this number first I keep this back to zero yeah when I click on this button so click on the button how can you make that logic is like this using this thing so generally how you make the function call as for example I create a function public increment counter okay so it is just of type void okay and here I write some alerts alert I am from increment counter so I have a method increment counter so I have to call this when I click on the uh, when I click on the button so how you bind is simple here generally we write on click right but here we have a click in the brackets is equal to increment counter that's all uh, it's it's supposed to be here correct yeah increment button click event so events binding you write like this click is the event and it is binded with this curly brace okay uh, parenthesis and then you have increment counter function method so now let's check when you click on this it's called this method and that says an alert so now check when I click on the button you got an alert okay but my plan is not just to get an alert I want to just increment the number so simply what you do you can access this variable here how this dot com is is equal to I say 5 what happen when I click on the button it increments the number to 5 let's check when I click on the button it's become 5 when I click again multiple times it's not incrementing because you made a fixed value 5 no I want keep incrementing with existing value how we access existing value this dot count and then plus 1 that's all so the current uh, <coughs> the new value of this count is equal to existing value plus 1 that's all so now check so how many times you click on keep incrementing it and assign to same variable so now back here I just increment see your number is incrementing that's all and you want to decrement same story so let's have another function decrement counter is a function return type is void uh, let's say this dot count is equal to this dot count minus one okay it just decrement the number and I have to call it from where you have to call when I click on the second button so let's say click event let's say decrement counter function <coughs> okay so when I click on this it's call and this is <coughs> simply decrementing the same variable and the same variable has been bind here it affects so now check back here you refresh to reflect the changes uh, increment is working decrement is working okay but problem is if you keep decrementing now is go to minus values also I don't want minus value I just want to you know stop at zero incrementing okay but decrementing should stop at zero you should not go for minus 
so you can actually make some condition if it is greater than 0 then uh, this dot count minus 1 otherwise 0 so if it is more than 0 just decrement it otherwise just make yourself 0 some condition for you so now check you just increment it incrementing and decrement will stop at 0 and trying to click but it's not see it's not decrementing perfect okay so this is how you make a events handling in angular and going forward we'll see more examples on events handling in angular so let's see that in the next video thank you